Here's my little Fanny and my little Emmy Lou, formerly Luke and Leia. But we still got Finn with the Star Wars name. And oh, look at Emmy Lou. I think she's, I know, I know, sweetie, she's doing a little scratching and it's of one spot. So I think what happened is maybe Finn got her there uh, because Lexi noticed it was a little irritated. So I'm putting colloidal silver on there. That's what really seems to help a lot. And I may just give them a little mini bath. They've had a big day today. They had their first vet visit which honestly the tech was super crappy, but I really liked the vet. We couldn't get into our regular vet because I actually booked about a week ahead and they always squeeze us in, but they've just been jam packed with COVID. Plus, honestly, my husband's a little nervous. I love the vet, but he doesn't like that they don't wear masks, which is bizarre and crazy, but they don't. Uh, so I love the other vet too, but they're further away. And honestly, I do love my primary vet the most, but I don't know what their problem is with that perspective because the virus is real and the masking helps, doesn't it, puppies? Are you guys going to be boring on your last night? What you looking for? Are you talkered? So they might be a little tired because they had their microchips implanted and they were so great. They, like little, um, I mean, Lou, she didn't even feel it. You didn't feel that big microchip with a 15 gauge needle too. It always makes me worried because the needle is so big, but uh, little um, Finn screamed. And when they've been doing the nails, which they've been doing really great with the nails. Uh, oh wait, don't you want to sign the birthday card for Kurt? Just like we're not today. No, well, I think it'd be good to drop it in a box. That way it's done. Uh, anyway, um, so, hey puppers. You guys gonna say hi? You can take Shacky for a car ride if you want. Huh? You wanna take, oh no, don't take Shack because I gotta give her a bath. Yeah, I forgot. Hi guys, I gotta give Shacky a bath with her one ear. <laughs> it's weird too because now that she had that, the dogs took her ear off in that severe fight, but she is doing a lot better. Her temperament is just un freaking believable and it's always what I aim for. And honestly, I have to say, I'm super proud of Willow. She seems to be the clear winner in our new, very highly structured, more disciplined before affection, as Caesar would say, pack, because she is just loving the puppies. She's, isn't she? Hi, Fanny. I guess I'll get you because there's nothing happening right now. You guys, I thought would be so excited because I rotated in some new toys. I have so many toys. I have those in like literally six Ziploc bags gallon on those super storage size whatever size they are like for soccer balls and things I thought I only had three bags and I thought that's weird I thought I had a few more new toys and sure enough I found like a whole bag so Willie's litter I mean you two have given me the inspiration you and my Henrietta and Henrietta the little glam girl I don't know why I had her pictured as like the little old woman from England and she's like a little hottie send me picture finally just so I could put a face to the uh, name and actually it'll be so fun Henrietta someday maybe to meet you when I go visit my daughter in France because I did have a lot of inquiries from people in Europe about getting a puppy and so maybe I can deliver one I had one very recently too I think it was from someone from Poland but I am not a big traveler that gene fell to my mother and my sister and I just don't like to travel and so because of that, I haven't even visited my daughter in France yet, my oldest, and she's been awesome about coming back pretty much every year, but not this year. So I'm thinking maybe I could go see her. And maybe if somebody did want a puppy, I could deliver one in July. If Willie's puppies are all ready um, to go in May, like we're planning, nature sometimes has different plans. All right, guys, say goodbye. You two have been wonderful and amazing, and I'm going to miss them so much. I am, because it was so fast. And now I've got all the stuff to put away for just three weeks, huh? Huh? But you're going to great places, aren't you? And big adventures. Oh, there. Finally, he discovered the little filled bone from Red Barn. There we go.